All right, we are back here. The next match, the final is at 21.40 E. That is in 13 minutes. A quick apology to Hydra Reloaded. I did say that the finals are between Hun Reloaded and Pandemic Legion, but it's been an extremely long day in the studio here, so I did mess that up. It is, of course, Hydra Reloaded uh, coming in as favorites here against Pandemic Legion, who are clawing their way back. Somebody's the somebody's going to get reloaded in this uh, final. Someone's going to get there's <laughs> some there's some bunch of reloaded dudes who are who are in this final, and they got loaded once. Uh, they they will be loaded again. Yes, it's uh, it's been a long day in the studio. Um, and uh, every now and then, I will slip up and say things. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Freudian slips do occur. Yes. All right, guys. So we have a good 10 minutes before we go into this next match. Mm. We've been over bands, yeah? We have not. We've oh. not talked about bands. Oh. I, I, have, I have not even revealed to you the secret of the bands. So for this fifth and final match, or well, fourth-ish match, yeah. which is really Final good. match yeah. is being the operative point, yeah. Hydra Reloaded have banned the Molas. And then they have again banned the Dominics. Okay. Uh, so this is the first Molas ban of the series. Have they been staples in PL setups? Nope. No. They die immediately to Sentry Cops. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. almost a wasted four points to bring uh, one. If anything, the Celestis is the real damn ship mm. of many of PL's comps. You'll see, they've seen a lot of two Blackbird, two Celestis comps using the Blackbirds to catch jams and then using potentially uh, a mix of range damps and then sensor damps on ships that have been jammed so that when they come off jam, it takes them forever to lock. Yep. And uh, Pandemic Legion, on the other hand, have kept their Cambion ban, so they're still insisting on that Makes Cambion sense. being uh, a good ban. It's been banned now three out of four matches. Um, did Hydra Reloaded bring Cambions in the second match? Because that was the first time they nope, did. No, they have not brought Cambions they have not in this been. series. All right, well, maybe they, they do think that they'll bring it out <coughs> now for the final bang here. And then they've banned the slip here. Huh. Hmm. That's maybe a bit interesting. Yeah. A so response they... ban to what they've seen ban. They see the, the, the Mollus ban and uh, decide, okay, they're not bringing a sentry cop since mm -hmm. Mollus die so easily to sentries. Maybe they're trying to bring some sort of uh, a rush cop. Mm -hmm. And so, so like Slipners or something, both teams have flown for a long time. I yeah. imagine that in the like early larval stages of their practice routine, they probably ran a lot of sep sep seps with slip mirrors until they found mm -hmm. out that uh, they weren't that great this tournament. Maybe there was some strange like evolutionary offshoot of the slip mirror comp that somebody knows about that they're worried about catching uh, from mm -hmm. the other team. Well, I think that there are good comps built around slip mirrors. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Exodus brought something very close to it with Slepner Claymore and then Gila's. I think yes. that's close to a good Slepner comp for mm -hmm. the current meta. Um, it still seems slightly arbitrary though. I mean, I unless there's maybe PL knows something that I don't know about Hydra setups. Which, which could also be the case. It could uh, be the case. Not be the first time PL have a little bit of information on you what's going on. practice with Hydra. PL knows I'm more. Not, <laughs> I have not practiced with Hydra since I've been on Icelandic ah, soil. All right. And all right. I have intentionally not opened the forums since I've been on Icelandic soil. Yeah. Lest you stream them to everyone. <laughs> well, I can't stream on my laptop, oh, okay, but okay. lest I get drunk and yeah. spew them. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Or, you know, CC not Bro that sits down at your computer and looks at them. Or yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit curious as to what's going to be brought here for, for the final one. It's, uh, is it uh, tried and tested, this is really good, or is this just, all right, let's do something completely nuts? I think it's, this is something completely nuts that we tried and tested over and over and over again, <laughs> and yeah. have done it in the deepest, darkest hole of duality that we could find so that nobody knows about it. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I'm really hoping that both of these teams have something that they haven't shown yet, mm -hmm. some sort of ace up their sleeve. Mm. that nobody knows about, uh, that hopefully mm. involves, I don't know, 20 or 30 Alliance Tournament prize ships. Mm. <laughs> that, that would be quite interesting. Uh, uh, of course, if it is a hugely valuable feel, I, I hope I get a little bit of a heads up in my ear so I can uh, be a little bit excited before we go into the <laughs> match. Uh, it would be interesting to get the team cards up if we could because I kind of want to look at the path uh, to, to finals, uh, if we could do that. Well, if we can't, we can't. But it would be nice to go see the, the, the path to the final because the Pandemic Legion's path has been significantly longer. I mean, holy, yep. what, a, what a number of... Well, Hydra had, some, 
Hydra had some hard teams they f they faced along the way. Yes. I'm pretty sure, yep. Hydra beat Darkseid. Hydra mm -hmm. beat Pandemic Legion. Hydra beat Exodus. So mm -hmm. uh, their first few matches, um, given their skill level, mm -hmm. were practically buys. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it, like, they didn't get to where they are unscathed. No, uh, certainly not. I guess circa yesterday, uh, Italian Cambian. Uh, I was just about to say, th those wins over PL were, were expensive. At great yeah. cost, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's interesting to see how closely fought, but I guess this, this series has been as well, but how closely fought that series was, and now we have this series again going just tooth and nail. And, well, and the uh, first match was so one-sided. It really was, yes. yeah. But I yes. mean, I really do think that, that uh, the Adrestia double Proteus setup mm -hmm. is pretty bad in a uh, century-centric tournament. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, I, I mean, it looked one-sided. It looked like the setup wasn't right. The piloting was shaky. We had some odd yeah, logistics. Logistics like, not repping oh, the right targets. PL just things, looked yeah. like they were done. Like, yeah. they looked like they were done for the day. And then... Mm, suddenly, yeah, got some Red Bull or something, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got wings. Yeah, yeah. Are we good to go? Uh, interesting. I am, I am super, uh, super interested in how this turns out. Uh, shall we do a quick shout out to some of the good members of the CSM? Uh, actually, I'm going to do one more than that and give a shout out to one of the big programs the CSM is running right now. All right. Uh, so the CSM is currently running uh, the voting phase of a big reasonable things initiative. So actually, you're well known for starting your little things thread. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest threads on the forums period. Uh, so the CSM said, that thread has been around for a long time. Why don't we see if there's a, we now know Eva's stabilized. We fixed a lot of those little things. Let's see if there's maybe a few larger, slightly larger things that the community really wants. So they took a big suggestion. I think we had something like 1,300 suggestions. Uh, and then the CSM list picked 99 of them, and now the community is voting on those 99. So, so far, we have uh, 2,528 votes. I think voting is open for about a week longer. Uh, and we have uh, an early re results of things that the community wants, and they all seem like wonderful things. Stuff like uh, uh, big favorites like Corporate Alliance logos printed on the side of ships, but obviously everyone knows that the, that would be super cool. I think you and I agree. Super that would cool. be amazing. Uh, but there's all sorts of great ones. Um, just like little stat, like status of like a quality of life changes, like add visual cone shape to current D scan area in both map and space. So you're like, oh, that's where I'm D scanning. Uh, Got 99 problems. Cone ain't one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, I, it is right now. Yeah, it is yeah, one yeah. It's, it's, one of the, problems. it's one of the 99 problems. But it really yeah, is yeah. getting a little bit late here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure they selected 99 problems instead of 100 so that I could make 99 problems jokes. Yeah, I think uh, so too. At my Beckham call. It's a completely valid joke to make as well. It's very thoughtful of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is a great initiative. So go on uh, Eve Information Portal. It will be the only thread that, that I think is like something like 126 pages long now. Just go ahead in there, first post. There's a wonderful formatting tool, and you can go ahead and post your votes in there. Mm -hmm. So I highly encourage everyone to check that out. And I'm, I can't wait to see the results. Also, you know what? I've been looking at the Alliance Tournament Forum, and it's been a little bit lonely, this tournament. Uh, remember that there is a section of our forums completely dedicated to this Alliance Tournament, and uh, we'd like more of you guys to post. We'd like you guys to talk to the players and, and, and some of us stuff. So uh, go to the Alliance Tournaments and, and kind of uh, give us a little bit of feedback after this tournament is done, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Actually, Actually one, can I bring up one quick uh, point on that? Yes. Um, not only do we have an Alliance Tournament Forum that everybody can go to, there's also an EVE subreddit that's full of not alliance tournament related things. <laughs> Here's the thing, you guys, you want to if you want to be informed, if you want to have great discussions, go there, post your questions, we look at it. So, it, we'll definitely go through try to answer some of your questions to the best of our knowledge, have some discussion about the matches and see what you think. Yeah, I've definitely been reading the alliance tournament forums, the forums trying to respond to threads with, you know, any input I have, my experiences here, maybe my my perspective from behind the camera or rather in front of the camera, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, and I'm certainly planning uh, next week once I get back and recover from jet lag and kind of catch up on work and all that kind of stuff, posting kind of a, my experience in Iceland, you know, some pictures and things like that, so you can see what it was like for for me and Brent at least to uh, to be here. So, actually, the Evil Alliance tournament is, I think about to heat up with some of my favorite content of all the Alliance tournament. It happens every tournament. It's one of my favorite things, is when teams post their end of tournament yes. stories. Yes, yes. Yeah. they're so The awesome. write-up of their path. I've seen some teams have done videos of their path to where they got in the tournament. I can't wait to see write-ups from Hydra, mm -hmm. write-ups from PL, mm -hmm. all these different groups, and just see how much work they put into it and how uh, much they really love the tournament and commit so much time to it to give us such a wonderful show. 
it is crazy. And some of these teams have been practicing for months. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for players that haven't followed the tournament that closely, uh, we do have a test server, which a lot of the teams have been using to practice. And I mean, we're talking about several hours a week that these teams are in there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how long, how long when, do you, when do you start prepping for this? <laughs> okay, so the team I practiced with this year, mm -hmm. the week that the rules and points were announced, mm -hmm. they started practicing. Yep. And from that point, we were running, uh, at the very beginning, you can start out like something like eight hours a week. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's like, that's, a, that's one work day, mm -hmm. you know, basically. Mm -hmm. But as you get closer and closer and during the tournament, things really ramp up to the mm -hmm. point where you're talking you know, 12 to 20 hours of practice a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the, the day the rules get posted, I'm instantly, you know, at my computer with scratch paper, just writing up possible setups, possible comps, trying to figure out what's going to be the meta, what interesting rules have changed that might change things up. So certainly, and I'm, I'm not even part of a team this year, and I was doing that. I have a stack of papers at home with, with comps and so So the people who are into the tournament, they live for this. The moment the posts come out, they're, they're already raring to go about it. And it used to be quite hard for teams to practice in secret. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So in oh, previous yeah. Alliance tournaments, teams that really wanted to keep things on lockdown would have to go deep, deep into the wormhole network, set up a tower and practice in a wormhole, and close holes that opened into that wormhole to prevent anyone from, mm -hmm. like our, the notorious CSP Fozzie when he was a player, would spy mm -hmm. constantly on people. Uh, this year we've changed that up. Every team in that tournament that requests a system gets a private passworded system. In order mm -hmm. to jump through the gate into that system, you have to have their password. Uh, mm -hmm. The captains can change the password whenever they want. Uh, and so if you're well, looking to practice, practice uh, you suddenly have all this privacy. You can develop things in secret without having to do all this sort of logistical effort. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, so we are coming up on the final match of the day. It is PL versus Hydra. It is match five for the 11th Alliance tournament. Uh, Bak, who do you think is going to win? Wow. I think uh, Hydra are going to get their serious pants back on. I think Heart SP has blown out eardrums on their team speak, and uh, they're going to put a real setup on the field that isn't just copied off of Pandemic Legion, and I think they're going to come back to take this. I think it's going to be Pandemic Legion. I think that they've got the momentum on their side. Uh, they've got more tournament wins in terms of alliance tournaments. I think they're ready to uh, lock down their victory with an amazing performance. I'm really hoping Hydra pulls it out here. I knew they were going to lose the last match, probably the one before that, but I'm really hoping that they finally just n knuckled down and said, okay, let's do this. This whole comeback thing has uh, kind of made me so happy that I think that I am going to go with Pandemic Legion uh, winning this 11th Alliance tournament, but at the end of the day, uh, there's really only one way of finding out, and that's going right over to the match.